Hi, beautiful Cancer. Welcome to a new era. My name is Emma. Cancer, this is your monthly read for August of 2024. And before we begin, before we begin here or dive deeper into the message, I just want to apologize actually for the um, quality of the video at this time. Due to various things, <clears throat> it's a little bit um, not clear, but I'm going to hold up the cards and we're going to do the best that we can with it until I figure everything out. So um, we're going to start with an overall energy here and then go deeper and deeper into that energy for the month of August. And at the very end, we're going to have the angels come out. And I would love for you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really helps me a lot. So we're not going to take these, but they are flipping. So we're going to show them. Creative Wonderment. Good fortune, wow. Invite magic in, and then confrontation. So they just wanna show up, so I wanna show them to you, but let's see which one that really wants to be a part of this reading. Cancer for August of 2024. There's so much going on, guys. I've written, uh, I've been really inspired by my guides to start to talk about certain things and post certain things that I receive and I am a little bit reluctant because there's big changes happening and I don't want to scare anyone. I don't want to like bring fear to the table, but it's rather like being prepared for what's up ahead. Like you want to be prepared if something's going to happen anyway uh, <clears throat> or how you can navigate through the energies going on right now. So if you're interested to read about that, please go to my donation site, uh, buy me a coffee as I post it there. I think to become a supporter and become a mem member, maybe not a member, yeah, uh, you actually have to donate one cup of coffee and then you can donate however much you want, but you can also just read all of it for free. I just want to say that. Okay, what's going on for cancer, please? I just wanted to say that because that like, yeah, it's really fiery energy. There's a lot going on. What do we have for Cancer, please? Dragon. That's quite fitting because in the month of August, we have the, it has, it has already started. We have the Lion's Gate portal and it's not 8-8 eight, eight this time because it's a eight universal year. So we even have like an 8-8-8 eight, eight, eight situation and so it's really strong. It's around the lion itself. It's about bravery. It's about courage. Um, it started on the 26th of July and it's lasting until the 12th, 12th of August, but it has its peak on the 8th. That's why we're talking about the 8-8 eight, eight portal. <clears throat> and so the dragon is very fitting. Uh, it says, discover your courage. It's a lot about like going places you never thought you would go or discovering things about yourself that maybe you didn't like like going down a path that you didn't see yourself go down or like visiting places or inviting things jumping on opportunities that i think you probably like in the recent past would never like picture yourself doing because it's just not you or like it's outside your comfort zone it's like something like that so Discover your courage. You're in a driver's seat though, Cancer. It's like there's major changes, big transformation, but you're in a driver's seat, okay? So let's, which one? Let's dive deeper into this message. <clears throat> what do we have for Cancer? That's sort of flip, but I didn't want to come out. Trust. Talk about <laughs> taking a leap of faith. Coming full circle in something. That was very fitting. Um, yeah, going deeper into the message. Listen, your intuition is increasing. Like it's really important to listen to what's going on in your surroundings and what your body is telling you. We first had detach with the 11. Detach and then simply love. I'm going to just get a couple more cards. We're going to use this deck. The 
Wisdom of the Oracle. What do we have for Cancer, please? For, wow. Between Worlds. Not really out of the old, but not really seeing fully the future. Like we're somewhere in between. This is not a stuck energy. It's just a movement in between feeling like you have not fully left something behind, but you're not fully into like wh wherever it is that you're going. You're somewhere in between. Yeah, I felt done there. <clears throat> and then like one or two more cards. Cancer. August. Four of Gabriel. This is really beautiful. It's like um it's like what you do after every like after everything is done. After like you deserve a good vacation, you deserve a good rest or like break. This can be talking about like um celebrating an actual wedding. It might be your wedding, it might be we're gonna we're gonna really look into this what this is. Um it's about like deserving a reward after hard work i think one more yeah two more <clears throat> nine of ariel well this is your manifestation card two nines actually nine okay uh nine of gabriel and nine of ariel so the the one of these are like one of these are saying for the love of yourself, don't give up. This is when you've been going at it for a while. You've been trying and trying and trying something. Or or, or because we had a leap of faith come out there, like to trust. Um, that there might be something that has, like we've we're in between two worlds, right? So there might be that you're, there's a lot going on. That there's a lot of changes, but you don't actually see the changes. Like you don't fully recognize what's coming. And so there might be like, don't give up keeping up the hope or keeping up your faith as well. Uh, because then we have nine of Ariel, which is dreams come true. Like nine of cups. This is like nine of Ariel. Ariel is all about the love and manifest manifestation. Your dreams are fulfilled. Hard work leads to great success. And then we have hard work leads to great success. It's like you've done so much. You've done so much, <laughs> Cancer. And so it's like, it's time for a celebration. It's time for a break. It's, it's going to lead to really beautiful things. So nine of Ariel is just saying like, these are coming out together. So they're showing, do not give up cancer, wherever you're headed, wherever you're wishing for, <laughs> I can't sit like this without doing a little, little pickaboo. Um, yeah. And both are nines. So they're like, we're in the endings and new beginnings, right? We're ending something. It's a wrapping up. The trust card was also like coming full circle. So like you're done wherever you're at. You're, it's like you're just sitting faithfully waiting for the next thing to just show its face. And it's asking you not to, get, to give, up, give up. This might also be why you need to practice and find your courage a little bit. To be courageous and sort of sit with the silence or sit with a non-movement or sit with um sit with a non-result if that makes sense like you don't really see like fully what's coming around the corner but yeah you're you're just sitting in it and it, it might take some bravery on your part to do that like you might be a little bit courageous to not wanting to like to peak or to solve it or or to because it feels like you can't solve it there's nothing that you can really hurry up so you sort of just have to practice that patience we are in the situation here with the listen and detach i just see <laughs> even like you know this hair is on fire like when the especially here in sweden not necessarily here in Sweden, but especially here in Sweden in the winter time, when it gets really dry and really cold outside, like my hair is like it just it stands on like all ends ends, and you get like this little electrical um, electrocuted every once in a while uh, because the the charge is like so high. And I see this like the, this hair is just standing straight up, and it's like it's the intuition cards so much about listening, and I think at this time. You're just really heightened in your it's interesting because i wrote about this as well this is very fitting cancer you're you're right there with the changes and with the transformation 
So just feel like this is a situation for you where you just really have to start to um, trust with whatever is coming through to sort of not brush it off or like, you know, if it's coming through, it is like it is your inner guidance telling you something. And I feel like this is a big thing that you're practicing right now. So you, you might even be put to the to the test. I don't like to say that, but like you might even attract certain situations where you get to practice that trust, if that makes sense. And I have the detach card and I actually want to read from the book for this. It might be something that you're moving on from. It It is a move, like it is a closing down, right? We, we have nine nine there. So it's like a, a situation where we're ending something and beginning something new. You're yeah, I feel like it's just your whole situation, the between worlds, like the whole situation of moving from one place to another. This might even be like a such a practical th I'm gonna read from the book. Uh it might be such a practical practical thing that you have sold one car. Sorry, you have bought a new car and you're waiting to sell the old one or you bought a new house and you're waiting to sell the old one or you're like, I sold the house and I haven't found a new one to move into and uh, time is getting a little bit, you know, tricky. And for you young ones, you have no idea why I do that. <laughs> then I don't have my phone here. Then you look at the watch or you look at the clock and it's like, um, things better hurry up here because like I need to have some place to move into. So there's... There's this feeling of like trusting in the gap between, and it's not the clothing store, trusting in the, in the in-between places that the old is going to start to crumble and the new is really going to start to show its face, but it hasn't shown its face yet. And that's why it's a little bit tricky. So yeah, there's a need, there's a need to detach from old things, old versions, lower vibrations for you to really get things moving. But let's read this. 11, which is a, a portal number, very fitting with the lion's gate. Detach, people. Okay. Uh, reflect, accept, decide, clarity, responsibility, and fairness comes through with this card. Let me see. And this, you know, the detach, um, I was talking about these houses or like contracts or whatever, you know, in the traditional tarot, this is the justice card. So it can even be like, like I said, contracts or waiting to sign something or you have signed something and you're waiting to hear back from like, it might be legal stuff that is going on here as well. Okay. Sometimes our ego prevents us from seeing events clearly. It's time to detach emotionally from a relationship or a situation so that you can step back and reevaluate. Reflect upon how the relationship is working. Is it satisfying? And like, I haven't talked anything yet about relationships. So put this into whatever situation this is for you, that we're in a situation that like, you're supposed to listen, really listen to what's going on, read between the lines, there can be legal matters like we, we're in a contractual thing here. Um, <laughs> I know for a fact what it's like to, <coughs> to not really have a lot of patience and to like coming out of the old and going into the new, but not, not fully be out of the old and not fully see the new. So you're somewhere in between and you're supposed to just trust the process. It's easier said than done, right? So... This is when it's asking your ego to not sort of step into the way of saying how, like how fast things are going to go, how fast things need to manifest in order for you to feel safe. Um, what, what is the outcome? Where is it going to come from? Who's involved? Like all of those what, who, when and where questions, like which are really not serving you any, like it's not doing you any good at all. It just brings more stress and more like disharmony and more misalignment with the situation itself. So it's asking you to like, if this is a specific situation, like a specific situation that you're looking to see some sort of, you know, coming like being prepared to your 
you know, up to your teeth and not really seeing like the full manifestation there that it's asking you to almost like step away from the situation altogether just for a moment, like in a moment, I mean, maybe a couple of days or if you're thinking about it constantly, at least like take a break for like an hour and just step away from it and, and see what happens so that the ego is not trying to like out of fear, or out of frustration or, or out of a little bit of like feeling rushed that like this needs to be settled to just calm down within the energy and like, okay, I'm going to start to trust that things are being delivered on time or at least when I need them. And you might even think that you need them sooner than you do, uh, blah, blah, blah. So reflect upon the relationship. Reflect on how the relationship is working. Is it satisfying? Like the situation that you're in, is it satisfying? Um, what role do you play in, in its harmony or disharmony? An honest appraisal uh, is required in order to gain clarity and help you better understand what might need to be done to improve, to improve it. This is true even if the relationship is already a good one. So even if it's a good situation, it's not necessarily a relationship, even if it's a good situation, like nothing has like gone majorly wrong here. It's just a feeling of, this is like amplifying your intuition, really sitting with the energy, really trusting what's going on in the ethers and like, and trust that you're going to be guided, you're going to be shown is a big one here. Okay. Um, <clears throat> it's important to uh, accept that your previous actions, decisions, and beliefs have led you to your current situation, whether it's pleasant or difficult. We do steer the course of our lives, although often without conscious intent, by assessing your situation and accepting responsibility for it, you're able to free yourself from the need to blame another person or destiny. And I, I would like to, if that doesn't come later here, I want to add, like, if you're the one with your beliefs and your, and I would add vibration here, vibration would be the biggest one, you might not mean to, but your vibration has attracted the situation that you're in. It's just, it's just the way that the laws of the universe works, right? And so if you have attracted the situation that you're in, you can attract another situation, right? If you're the creator of your current circumstance, you can be the creator of your next circumstance. I just want to point that out. Um, there's no guilt associated with this card, only clarity and empowerment. Once you've detached yourself from and examined a relationship or situation, lack of relationship or other matter of the heart, uh, you're in a better position to decide what your next step might be. Remember that the detached card knows no ego. Uh, decisions arrived. Decisions arrived at as a result of drawing this card must be fair and balanced for everyone involved. So if you can ask the universe, like whatever situation that you're in, that might even be a thing. What's holding you back? Okay, good point. Um, because whatever's holding you back might be the actual thing. <laughs> that, it sounds so stupid to say that. Whatever's holding you back is the thing that holds you back. But I mean, it's like you might think too much about how this is going to affect other people. Um, what if like you move on from a certain situation or you change a certain situation or change or question a certain relationship and you choose something else, you choose something new, and you're like so afraid of what that's going to do to other people or how that's going to like affect the situation itself, that that in itself is actually holding you back. So you might think that you're waiting on something new, but while, okay, and I'm getting for like maybe 2%, it is a, such a side note, but it's a, it's a full on blown story for someone. So I have to say it. <clears throat> and that is, and trust me, I've been in this situation. Um, so I know what it's like and people might not understand it. But like, if you think that your doing or your action is going to somehow 
jeopardize something or someone that you have a voice or you have a person or you have like something hanging over you saying if you do that we don't know the consequence this is the justice card right so there might be a situation that you're in to just be honest here or just be very personal but really honest I've been in those situations <clears throat> where I have felt that if I do certain things or speak out loud about certain things that my ex will find out things will happen to my one of my children like you know this person will just come up with something to just mess things about and I mean that's been my journey in coming out of that journey and re you know taking back my power and all of that but I understand if there is a situation where someone really wants to move on or really wants to make a shift and you're just sitting in this you're sitting smack in the middle of the shift and you're just sort of waiting for it to change and not really fully understand that actually there's no change we're, we're, we can't change until you let go of the fear that whatever this change is going to bring about might affect other people make sense but this is like karma's on your side this is the justice card this is when things are being leveled out we have celebration at the end of this like you've done a good job we're gonna celebrate when this is over and done with so it's not like we're moving ahead here and all hell broke loose that's not what's that's not what's gonna happen we also have when you're and this might even be like talking a little bit about that you you've dug yourself like up until a point and then you stop and it's like you're you're waiting a little bit for the other shoe to drop you don't even think that there's another shoe to drop so maybe look into that storyline a little bit this is obviously not for everyone but forever that resonate for for whomever that resonates with uh look into that a little bit because there's your happily ever after like that's your this is where dreams come true so they want to come true if we just let go okay and we have simply love i just feel like this is someone we can, we can talk about it as if this is your own inner child cancer i want to talk about it as if it's your own inner child and i want to talk about it as like just look at what the children does like i see this we can look at it as someone is like really a father figure some someone is a mentor someone is a teacher or a leader a boss um that is like showing this apprentice or showing this child like leading the way right but i don't see that today i see that like this older gentleman there like he's holding on this boy's shoulders and it's almost like he's looking like oh my god like hey you're the coolest you're the coolest ever if we could just follow what the children are doing we're all good you know so there's something about just do what the children does if you could just invite your inner child again if 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 you could make things not so serious cancer again easier said than done sometimes but it's actually through laughter and, and humor and lightness that things are going to be brought about in the way that you want to it's when the seriousness and the worry and the stress and all of like those things come in that we slow down the progress right and it's the six is a love simply love <laughs> it's not so simple sometimes but it's all about the love it's all about the easiness and the simpleness and the and the the lightness of things if if you can tap into that inner child of yours or if you sh can sort of sort of just go Look at the child look at what the children are doing and you're good to go it's so simple and we're i love this phrase that life life is simple if it would be complicated everyone would get it <laughs> isn't that a good uh, good um little slogan life is simple if it would be complicated everyone would get it but no one does because we want to try to complicate everything when in fact it's so easy we just need to focus on whatever it is that we need to focus on okay and then we have the between worlds come out we already talked about that it's quite clear it's i just really want to say how much like how much 
of rainbows and butterflies there is where you're going. Really. You see like the the where you where you come from has turned into like this black and white situation. It really is a stale situation. So whatever you're moving away from and if you like you still do you see that this um flamingo has like two so we have one foot in each camp, like one foot in each boat, each boat. Like we have two boats running here. We have two realities uh, active. So if there's a situation that you're a little bit afraid, here comes the courageousness again. If there's a situation that you're a little bit af afraid to move away from because you think that you might be making the wrong um, decision, uh, you, you know what you have, but you don't know what you get, all of those things. Like if you think that, Mm, I might hang around here a little bit because what if, what if, you know, but if we start to use the what if in, in the good sense, in the positive sense, what if you're making the right decision? What if where you're going is ever so much better? What if the inspiration for you to even move in the first place is the correct answer here? And you see where you came from is like it has served its purpose. It has run its course. You're so done with it. Whether that is a, I'm sorry for sounding really harsh now that I'm almost objecting, fight, objectifying people because I'm <laughs> comparing them to houses and whatever. But it's like the, the, the person, the relationship, the house, even the city, the job, like there's something here that has to run its course and you know what that is. If you already have like someone or something in your mind or on your mind, it's like, that's it. It can even be several things. You're leaving several things behind you. And where you're going is in, you know, so much color, so much happiness. You see all this candy and sugar <laughs> waiting for you. You don't have to have one foot in each camp. You can actually just take the other foot with you into the new place. And you're, you're going to be good to go. I think it's not so much, yes, it's, it's a little bit what, what you've been... It's a, I feel like it's a timing thing as well to just defend you a little bit. There's a timing around this, yes. However, a big chunk of the speed of where this is going is you holding back a little bit. You not being too sure about like what, should I just walk away then? Like, are you like really, are we sure here? You are the one actually slowing down the process a little bit. And we, and we already got that. Like you need to let go a little bit here. It's, li it's life. See what, let's see what happens, you know? <laughs> if you're like, well, that went to, you know, where? Okay, then let's move from there, you know? Rather than being stuck someplace because you don't know what, where you're going to end up. And there's, there's a listen there's a calling, there's a, there's a push, there's a pull inside of you. You're not, you're not like going somewhere against feeling like, like you should stay put, right? So trust this. For Gabriel, again, time for celebration, abundant rewards for hard work, release yourself from burdensome situations. It's time for you to have it easy, like to lighten up and to have fun and to celebrate. And I'm not getting too much around like it got really, really obvious that this is like a it can be a relationship, but that's not the point. The point is what you're stepping away from and what you're going to get. It's that move. It's that is that transportation transformation that it's all about you gaining the courage to follow some sort of calling meaning therefore leaving certain things or people and people behind you done such a beautiful job and yeah if you you're just on the very brink of like feeling like you want to give up this is not the time to give up like you're so freaking close you can taste it this says stay determined and move forward be prepared for any possibility. Stay determined and move forward, right? And then comes the nine of Ariel. Your dreams are fulfilled. Hard work leads to great success. A love for the beautiful things in life. This is joy. This is celebration. This is a gift. This is the 
this is the um, color, the technicolor that you're stepping into, right? Let's have the angels come out with some final messages. What do you have for Cancer for the month of August, please? Yeah. So <laughs> if that wasn't obvious before, choose a new direction. It's time to choose a new direction. And you know that. This whole reading has been about getting out of the old and coming into the new. It's time to choose a new direction. There's a guiding light. There's a clear guiding light. If, light. if you get still enough, if you get quiet enough, and you just sit with your energy, it doesn't necessarily come answers to you in that very specific moment when you're really, really still and really, really silent. But it brings about an opening for you to receive answers so that five minutes after being completely still, you get something that is that is a sign, that is guidance. That's what I have for you, beautiful. Cancer, I hope it, it's helpful because I know how scary it can be to let go of something that's really comfortable, but it just doesn't serve anymore, right? And we're preparing for bigger things right now in the energy. So yeah, I really hope it's helpful. Um, again, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really helps me a lot. If you come back here over and over and you like these readings, I would really appreciate it if you just hit that little subscribe. Um, other than that, thank you so much, guys. Bye.